going to be beginning on my green dress for the green section of the Lucy program. So this is the part, it's kind of like, it's funky, kind of salsa, not salsa dancing, it's just like funky dancing with her and Ricky, so that's where my cardboard cutout comes in, and that's where this dress comes in. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be green. Um, yeah, this is going to be the sequin green part here, and then this is going to be like the satin green. I'm going to put some tulle under here to make it puffy, but it's a little bit tricky because I want this skirt to be kind of form-fitting and then flare at the bottom, but I can't have it too tight or else it'll ride up me or it might not let me like do as much, like it won't give me the flexibility to do stuff that I want to do. So right now what I'm going to do is watch this part of the episode that has her and, Lu and uh, Ricky together dancing so I can kind of see how the movement she has is with the kind of skirt she has because it's not super super tight but it still looks good and I want to kind of pull that from the episode so I can make it for real. <laughs> so you can see she's able to move around, it's not restricting her very much at all. So this part, you see how the skirt is straight there and it kind of flares out so that's what I need to reproduce because it doesn't look like she has a problem moving at all. Nope, no problem. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. Yay, just got back from the rink. I had a lesson with Lisa, and we were working on my Lucy program with emphasis on the quick change part of the program. So it went pretty well eventually. At first it was kind of like crazy because I'm not used to doing that on the ice, and I was like about to fall off the chair I was using to change on and all that craziness. But eventually it worked, and I think it's gonna work, it will. It has to. Um, so I went from this skirt woo, to this skirt. This is what I whipped up last night. Um, it's not done yet, but you know it has a little asymmetrical skirt line going on. It's going to have a bow. I'm going to make a cute little bow here. It's going to have more fringe, so it will look like the picture, hopefully. Yes. Alright, so I also just went to Joann's. I got this like lacy fabric that I'm going to use for this and the little bell sleeves on, on there. So, there's nice a little bow I'm going to make. Um, yeah, my kind of issue right now is on the zipper because I originally got this invisible zipper. It's invisible, but it's green, so like anything that would show would match my fabric. But the issue with this is that it's not a separating zipper. It, like, it doesn't separate. So <laughs> basically, it'd be harder to change because I'd have to step through the jacket piece that I'm making instead of just, like, flipping it on. So instead, I think I'm going to end up using this sports zipper. It separates, which is what I want. The only issue with this is that it's not green, so it wouldn't match, but... I think I'm going to solve that problem by covering it with an extra flap of the green material that I'm using. That's my main material. So you won't see it. And then like that little extra piece will be secured down with the Velcro. So it'll just be easy to flip down. I think that'll work. I hope it'll work. But anyways, I'm going to play with that. And the goal is to have all the pieces done by Thursday. So I can work on the details and we'll hopefully even have the details done by Thursday. And then it'll be good. It's gonna work. Getting it done. See you soon. Bye.